Hello, 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 family. Listen, good morning. This is Tracy. Um, <laughs> I'm outside today. Just wanted to um, just wanted to share part of my morning with you. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God is so good. He's so amazing. I'm going to share a little scenery. Then I'm just going to get back in the car, okay? Because all of my notes in the car. I just want to turn around and share um, just a little bit where I am. I'm at the pier in San Diego right now. Hopefully you can see a little bit behind me. It is beautiful morning and uh, and I'm grateful for it. And I hope I have enough storage on my phone to, um, you know, to, to get this word out. I'm so, listen, y'all, y'all already know this is what I love to do. God is a good God. Um, he's so amazing. I cannot um, complain. What What am I going to complain for? Okay. I mean, I can complain, but it won't help. It won't do any good. You guys hang on while I put you guys back in the little thingamabob here. God is so good. Like I said, good morning. Happy Monday to everybody. My name is Tracy coming to share a word of encouragement with you guys. I am grateful to the Lord. Okay. I am grateful to him because he's good. In spite of the try in spite of the trials and the tribulations, it's okay. I would rather, I would rather go through with Jesus than not okay because it's either way you're gonna have trials in life things are just gonna happen we think that you know sometimes when we get in Christ we get saved we become Christians everything is all hunky-dory um, life still life okay life still be life and and it's just gonna happen and we are called to carry our cross okay so listen don't be discouraged hold on hang in there God's got you covered. I want to say thank you so much to all of those that pray for me, encourage me, support me, um, sow seeds. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is good ground. Okay. I am about my father's business. So thank you so much. May God bless you a thousand fold. I also want to encourage you and to let you know um, that change will come. God is up to something. Change will come. All things will work out together for your good without fail. God is faithful. I want to encourage you to be honest and be truthful in everything we do. We don't have to, um, you know, we, we just want to be, we want to be truthful. Okay. We want to be truthful in everything. Um, we do give God praise, tell him you believe if you need help with something, ask the Lord, okay? The Lord does not need help with our with us telling fibs, telling lies on certain things. Be honest, because if it's yours, it's gonna happen. I remember I was somewhere and I told a little fib about an application, little fib. I told a lie and because I got nervous. Don't do that, all right? It was a long time ago, y'all, so don't get in my comments. And But God doesn't need our help. Thank you. Thank him for mercy and grace. He doesn't need our help. So we don't have to lie and, and give false information or anything like that. Whatever belongs to you, it's going to be yours, period. I want you to be encouraged. Keep on going. Um, let the Lord know. Give God, God some praise. If you have to cry, cry. Wash your face. Get up. Give him some praise and say, Lord, I believe. If you are struggling to believe, we know the scripture like the man said, God, I believe. Help my unbelief. Okay. Our father, our daddy is so faithful. Let me go because I don't want, I mean, let me get into the word because I don't want my phone to cut off. I'm out of storage. I do have my laptop, but I'm somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi. So I, it's not even going to work out. I was sitting with the Lord here at the pier. I've been here for a little while. Excuse me. I've been here for a little while now, just looking at the beautiful water and all of the land and the houses way back in the distance and the ships and everything that's here. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad I was on my way to the beach and the pier dropped into my spirit. I'm like, that's where I'm going. And I'm so glad I did. God is good. So I was sitting here with the Lord and wondering like, you know, um, what do you want me to share? So listen, have you ever wondered if people will believe what God has called you to do? You know, I understand that we're not supposed to be worried about what people think. We're human. You know it crossed your mind. It's crossed mine, okay? And so, um, so 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I got distracted with people looking at me in the car. <laughs> They're doing their walks and runs. Anyways, so um, like I was saying, have you ever wondered if people will believe what God has called you to do or what God has spoken to you, you know? And again, not that we're supposed to be um, worried about that, but you know, sometimes you'd be like, God, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I, I'm not sure. And sometimes we're just, we're just wondering like, Lord, you know, you're, you're sending me to this place and these people probably won't even believe me. I've had those thoughts. And so as I sat here at the pier, so beautiful, like I said, and I asked the Lord what to share. And I came across this scripture, um, in Exodus chapter four, where God was sending Moses. I'm sorry, you guys for looking down so much where God was sending Moses to deliver the children of Israel from Pharaoh. Right. And, um, and Moses confident, as we know, was not good. Okay. It was not, he was not confident at all. He wasn't confident at all. For one, he had a speech impediment. Okay. He stuttered. Let's, let's just say that he stuttered. And, um, and two, he was, um, raised in, he was raised by, um, Pharaoh's daughter, right? Raised by Pharaoh's daughter. And so he was raised as an Egyptian. Y'all read it for yourself. Read it for yourself. Okay. Um, and so I put chapter two, but I think it's chapter four, you guys. Yeah, chapter four. Okay. And so to make a long story short, Moses, um, he, he left where he was because he killed a man because he was taken up for Hebrew, okay? And he went into the wilderness and he had an encounter with God. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. He had an encounter with God and God gave him this mantle to be a deliverer of the children of Israel. They were enslaved 400 years. I really wish I could take a picture of this guy with his, I don't know what kind of old time suit this is. Like, I'm sure he works somewhere, but... um iPhone don't allow you to turn it around like Android. Okay. And so he, um, so Moses was very sure of his call, right? Like some of us are right now. We're not sure. Like father, I feel so unqualified for this place that you're calling me to. You know, I don't feel qualified. I don't feel equipped. God has equipped you. If he did it, he wouldn't send you. You are qualified because God qualified you and he equipped you. And I know we shared this before. Okay. And so, um, and so I, I remember being in Indiana and um, I was there for, I don't know, about six weeks. I can't remember exactly. But I was thinking about where God was calling me to, right? It was just sitting on the bed thinking about this. And and I was having a combo with the Lord. I was having a convert, uh, conversation with the Lord. You know, like, God, they're not going to believe me. They're not going to believe, you know, that you sent me to this particular place and called me for such a time as this. You know, I was just having some insecurities. And you guys know I love to be, well, God calls me to be transparent. Sometimes I don't mind. And sometimes I'm like, daddy, I do not want to share that. But, um, but this time I was just, I'm just being transparent. I'm like, Lord, they're not going to believe me. They're, it, it, they're not going to believe who you call me to be in this particular place because I just felt so unqualified and not that I really know the people. Um, anyways, I was just having, <clears throat> some issues with confidence and trust in the Lord and, you know, a little bit of concern where he was sending me. And God assured me that they will believe. Okay. And, and again, you guys, um, you got to listen with your spiritual ears. Okay. Don't overthink this. Uh, there are some places where you be, you will re be received. I'm sorry, where you will be received. Okay. And so this is specific, right? There's other places you won't be. And God says, don't worry about them. Set your face like a flint, right? But some places God was like, no, go. You're going to be received. I'm sending you there. It's, it's, they're going to receive it. Okay. All right. Let's not be like Jonah. I ain't going because he didn't want to like, I, I don't know what was wrong with Jonah. He was just having some issues. Like, I don't want you to deliver them. You go help them out. They're going to receive this word. I don't want them to. But anyways, this is not that. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so, um, so, um, so, you know, because I had this specific place in mind, you know, that I knew that God was telling me that he was going to be sending me at some point. And so I was like, I just, I just wasn't confident. Okay. I just wasn't confident at that time, at that time, for the most part right now I am. Okay. I have moments where I'm like, Oh, you know, it just feel like some really big shoes. Right. Anyway. So 
This was the case with Moses. Um, this was regarding a particular place, okay? A particular task that God was sending him, a particular location that he was sending him. And this is what this message is about. They will believe you in that place that God is sending you. Again, this is specific, okay? So you know to take everywhere back to the Lord, right? And um, get in where you fit in. All right. Amen. Amen. So this is a specific place that God is calling you to minister or whatever it is. Okay. Whatever it is. And you're not so confident about it. This message is to encourage you. Okay. To let you know that they will believe that you are a man of God, that you are a woman of God and that God sent you to this place. Okay. Amen. Amen. God wants me to share this with somebody or somebody's. All right. Letting you know that they will believe. All right. Now, God allowed Moses to have some help from his brother Aaron. OK, but God is calling you to have confidence in what he has put down inside of you. OK. God equipped you. He's word your mouth. That's what he was telling Jeremiah. I have put my words in your mouth. I think it's Jeremiah one. But, you know, don't quote me because that's not part of the message. Let's read some scripture. OK, so Exodus chapter four. I want you to read it in its entirety, but I'm just going to skip a few verses for the sake of time, okay? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is a good God. So Exodus chapter 4, let me see what verses. So we're going to do verses 1 through 5, 12, and then 29 through 31, I believe. Let's read. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. See the confidence in Moses? He just didn't have it. Bless his little heart. He didn't have it. Okay? He was not confident at all. All right. Okay. And the Lord said unto him, what is that in thine hand? And he said, a rod. And he said, cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before him. Hallelujah. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, you guys, where the Lord is sending you, there will be signs and wonders. Okay. Amen. God is going to show up and show out for his honor and his glory. And you will not be put to shame. Amen. 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 Um, verse number four. Oh, let, let me go back to three. And he said, cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from, uh, from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, put forth thine hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand that they may believe that they may believe that the Lord, the God of I'm sorry, that the Lord God of their fathers and the Lord of Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I'm sorry, I butchered that a little hath appeared unto thee. OK. And there was some more things. I'm just not going to read it. I think he put his hand in his clothes and it became leprous. And, it, you know, the Lord just showed him some signs. OK, um, two. It said two signs. So let's go to verse 12. Now, therefore, go. I will be with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say. Amen and amen. Let's go over to verse 29. 29 through 31. And Moses and Aaron went together. OK, went and gathered together. And Moses and Aaron y'all forgive me and Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel and Aaron spake all the words which the Lord had spoken unto me to Moses and did the signs in the sight of the people verse 31 and the people believed hallelujah to the Lamb of God and the people believed and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel and that he had looked upon their affliction then they bowed their heads and worship and the people believed amen 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 god is so good i love the way that the lord comes to give us confidence in him and to remind us i am with you i called you the mantle i gave it to you you are equipped okay you are qualified and and it's just a beautiful thing to me so i was so grateful um, about that. I was so grateful that the Lord loves to encourage us so that, so that we can do what he has called us to do. Amen. God is a good God. Listen, they will believe. Okay. Go in confidence. That is the word of the Lord today. That is the word of the Lord today. I love y'all so much. This word blessed me so much. I was so glad that the Lord just gave me, you know, a reminder, like I'm going to be with you, Tracy. I called you to the place 
and where I'm sending you, okay, they will believe. All right? Th there's a group of people. Amen? Somebody's going to believe you somewhere, wherever God sent you. They will believe. Okay? Now, there are some places that we will go, like I said, that they may not. God said, don't worry about them. They're stiff-necked and hard-headed. And set your face like a flint. That is a hard stone. Okay? Just don't even let it, just let it bounce off. People be saying some wild things, like in my comments. Praise the Lord of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. However, I'm trying to say that. It's going to come out. I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today, but the devil is a liar in the blood of Jesus. And we got the word out. Listen, if you would like to sow a seed, um, all of the information is in the description. I thank you in advance. And may God bless you a thousandfold. Listen, listen, listen. If you are new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now, okay? Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And Jesus, he loves you so much more. And I will talk to you next time. They will believe.